Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the Renstar construction site in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we were finalizing some upgrades to the Metalworks factory, and in this episode, we are going to be crafting some robots called Turtles that are going to help us to create this giant ass space platform. So sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. Let's feed the beast that is our mind. Now, guys, I am super, super excited for today's episode because I have basically spent the last few hours trying to figure out how Turtles work and I think I've got my head around it and I just can't wait to share it with you guys because it's really going to make our task of building the Renstar that much easier. I've also made a few adjustments around the Cyber Labs and the Metalworks factory that I want to take you guys through before we get into this turtle madness that we're, that's going to ensue in this episode. Um, so you know what guys, let's get freaking cracking right away man. First and foremost, there was another block that I have added to the pallet and here it is, you can see sitting on the edge over here. And this is in fact a block of tin. And uh, this was inspired by one of you cyber dogs who mentioned in the previous episode that we have a butt ton of, we had a butt ton of tin in the cyber labs and we could also turn tin into a block. And as you can see, it is actually a really awesome block. It's basically like a lighter version of iron, which I absolutely love. So we're going to be using blocks of tin uh, that, that I've added to the, the, the block palette over here for the Renstar. And what I've done also is added a tin production line to the metalworks factory and i've added it over here to the end over here and uh, we can see we've already got 47 blocks of tin up in this jazz and uh, here is the barrel that has all of the tin dust in it slowly becoming blocks of tin um our our aluminum line is also doing very very well i bet i've basically smelted down all of those blocks of aluminum ore that were in the storage warehouse into dust and uh this factory has been working over time and we already have six almost seven stacks of aluminum blocks which we are going to be using t today to craft the inside of this very first module or the floor of the very first module that is now guys let's just get ourselves into the cyber labs quickly i want to show you a few adjustments that i've made around here since you since you guys were last with me first and foremost i want to start with the scaffolding factory that we've got down here in the cyber labs maintenance level Basically what I've done is I've redirected the output of the scaffolding factory directly into the recycling facility because I, unfortunately we're not really able to use scaffolding as much as I thought we would. Scaffolding actually requires you requires itself to be built on top of other scaffolding. There's, there's restrictions in place of where you can put scaffolding. I thought that you could put scaffolding anywhere but apparently you can't. So what I've done is I've altered the uh, scaffolding factory slightly to just produce sticks and those sticks are being directly redirected into the recycling facility via this transport pipe over here. So you can see this auto crafting table over here makes some plankage. The plankage becomes some stickage and uh, that stickage gets sent in directly into the recycling facility. And because we have an infinite supply of logs from our tree farm uh, on the surface, we basically have an infinite supply of resources for our recycling facility, which is, which is most excellent. I must say, I'm very, very happy about that. And also, uh, this is a very, very um, efficient way to recycle wood because from one block of uh, oak wood we generate two planks and then those two planks become four sticks so essentially we are turning one block of oak wood into four bits of material to be recycled in the recycling facility so it's a really efficient material to recycle and uh, as you can see man it it just this factory just churns out wood like nobody's business and uh, the recycling facility is basically now running 24 hours a day producing a whole bunch of awesome loots for us i have also added another uh, yet another another quarry uh, into our quarry array over here uh, as i showed you guys in the previous episode both of our quarries were run dry and we were only running out of one quarry so what i've done is i've added another quarry in this location over here i've already flooded it as you can see it's already started to to dig away which is really really awesome right now the the, the all the power is down because i'm just letting our mfes recharge uh, when i turn the, met the metalworks factory on the lights in rentown literally go off man <laughs> that metalworks factory 
battery eats so much power out of our system. It's unfreaking believable. So I'm gonna turn some of these engines on, get both of our quarries up and running, running again uh, while we work in today's episode. I've also been to the nether uh, to collect a little bit more sphalerite, or you guys can see I'm on level 52. I've collected quite a lot of sphalerite now. So let's get that going into the industrial electrolyzer. Of course, this is making zinc for us uh, to make zinc blocks. So that is all up and running very, very nicely. Um, I've also harvested a brand new crop of feru. Uh, it looks like we have a, another another harvest to get through over here. It looks like all of these feru plants are, are, are now grown and I've put all of those in here. You can see we've got quite a few bags of feru seeds now, almost ready to, to plant a, a feru seed field up on the surface. But guys, I wanna, I wanna introduce you to a new member of the Cyber Labs. Um, I came down here into the bio research facility one day and BAM there was a pig here uh, he must have spawned down here or glitched through the roof or, or I have no idea how he arrived but he is the new resident pig of the cyber labs and I have named him bacon <laughs> so say hello to bacon he is basically the protector of the cyber labs man he looks really cute look at him he has a really really cute face but he is vicious man if you come into the cyber labs and you do not have a, a, a key a, a, a pass key to get in here bacon will literally kill your ass he he is a mean ass pig even though he doesn't look like it so uh welcome bacon to the cyber labs <laughs> um i have no idea how he got here but you know i'm happy for him to be here man he's he is he is really really awesome but guys let's get on to the meat and taters of today's episode and that is of course oh my goodness we've got some jazz going on over here um, oh, I know what's going on over here. The, the, the electrical engine that is supposed to be removing um, items out of the industrial electrolyzer is... Is it working? Yeah, it is working, but for some reason it was spitting out some zinc and some sulfur dust. That's, that's kind of weird. All right, there we go. Who knows, man? It must just be a glitch of some kind. Oh my goodness, what is going on over here? Oh, there seems to be... Oh, here's the problem. Here is the problem. Uh, we have got a pipe malfunction over here. So let's just turn. Let's get these pipes facing the correct position. There we go. Uh, what happened was I turned when I when I turned these engines off over here. It flipped the uh, it flipped this pipe over here. This iron transport pipe. You can actually flip iron transport pipe directions with levers. So that's what's happened over here. I should probably I should probably get rid of this lever actually and uh, sort of fix that at some other point. All right, sweet guys. Let's get back to business up in here, man. <laughs> uh, well, I think what I'm going to do is just go and drop off some of these, uh, some of these, the, this dust that I've collected from the back of the machine room over there in, in the uh, manual insertion chest over here. But guys, what we are doing today is making something called a turtle. And what a turtle is essentially is it's a robot, right? And it's a robot that you can program to do stuff for you. And there are a ridiculous number of different turtles. And I do believe that it comes from the computer craft uh, mod of, uh, of Feed the Beast. Let's have a look. I think it comes from Computer Craft. Yeah, yeah, it comes from Computer Craft, right? Computer Craft Turtles. And as you can see, we have turtles, wireless turtles, crafty turtles, mealy, digging, mining, felling, farming, um, mining, wireless, wireless. <laughs> we have a ridiculous number of, of turtles that we can actually make and feed the beast. But for, for our purposes, we are just going to be making uh, your normal run-of-the-mill turtle. And to make a turtle is pretty freaking simple. All we need is some iron a computer and a chest so why don't we start off with the computer and uh, that is simply some redstone some stone like like so and uh, a glass panel um, for some reason in, in feed the beast computers are made out of stone and uh, not out of iron but whatever <laughs> we ask no questions and let's have a look at the total recipe for a turtle and that is just a computer like that uh, a chest like that and some iron around the side and kaplam we have our turtle which is basically a robot um, now what we are going to be using this turtle to do is to construct for us uh, platforms right now the way that you control turtles and the way that you that you uh, make turtles do stuff is you put in programming language into the turtle and this language is basically the same as any programming language out there right it, it very it, it's basically like c++ or uh 
uh, Lua, I think it's called. There's loads and loads and loads of different uh, types of programming languages out there. And what turtles do is that they use the very, very basics of all programming languages to, to do stuff uh, uh, according to what you want them to do. Now, for the purposes of this series, I am not going to be going into the hardcore uh, programming language of Turtles. There are YouTubers out there who have done a much better job than I could ever do with regards to teaching you guys how to use Turtles. And uh, I have learned everything that I know about Turtles from one of my favorite Minecrafters. His name is Seth Bling. And he has done an excellent tutorial on how to use Turtles. He is actually a programmer himself. Himself. So if you want, if he is no, there is no better teacher than Seth Bling in this world to teach you guys how to use turtles if, if that's what you want to do. But for the purposes of, of this series, uh, we are just going to be using the very basic commands of turtles. And uh, if you guys want to learn how to use turtles, I know there'll be some of you guys out there who, who really want to learn how to use turtles properly. Then what I'm going to suggest you do is head over to Seth Bling's channel and watch his tutorial on turtles. I'm going to stick a link in the description box below for you guys so you can go straight to that tutorial series that Seth Bling made and why don't you let him know that I sent you also if you do head over in that direction but guys for the purposes of this series we are just going to be using the basic commands of turtles now what's awesome about turtles is that there are people out there who uh, well there I mean there is a huge turtling community out there right and what this turtling community has done is literally written programs for every single function that you could ever want a turtle to do uh, if you want a turtle to build a house someone out there has made a programming for your turtle to make that house and all it really takes for you to do is find that program online and to stick that program into the turtle and the turtle is going to do exactly what you ask it to do now that's exactly what we're going to be doing for the purposes of this series we're going to be using pre-programmed uh, or pre-written programs rather to make our turtles do what we want and i'm going to stick uh, whatever program that we use in our turtles i'm going to stick the links in the description box below so that you guys can go and find those programs um, it's a little bit complicated to actually get the programs into the turtles so that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do today and uh, hopefully for you guys who want to use turtles out there uh, a combination of this video and a combination of the excellent tutorials by guys like seth bling will really get you guys on on track to using turtles the way that you want but guys why don't we get going man what is a freaking turtle what does it look like well let's stick it down here because uh, this we're gonna this turtle over here which has this really cute little turtle logo on it this turtle is going to build for us the floor of this module and this floor over here is basically basically going to be the maintenance level of the very first module of the Ren Star, right so what we want this floor to be made out of is uh, probably out of iron blocks right but before we even get to that guys let's open up the turtle and have a look what the jazz is going on with this thing so i'm going to right click on this bad boy and as you can see we it brings up like uh, um, a terminal right it's basically like a computer terminal and it's essentially like uh, ms dos used to be like 20 years ago uh, it's very very basic very very easy to use and uh, for those of you guys who have very basic use of dos maybe you guys can remember it from school some of you older guys out there uh, for, for, for those of you guys who were born like after 1990 um, you will never have seen this so I, I would really suggest going going to watch some to to tutorials <laughs> oh that's genius uh, if you want to learn how to use turtles but guys for the sake of this episode let's have a look what we can actually do with uh, our turtle so there are the, the commands that we are going to be using uh, the first command we're going to be using is dir and basically what that command says is open the directory of the turtle so if we click dir we can see that inside the turtle is a folder called rom now if we go to if we type in cd space rom cd basically means open folder rom we're going to open the, the 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 rom folder now imagine you're in windows right now we've opened up the rom folder now we want to have a look at what's in the rom folder so we we, we type in dir again and we can see that there is uh, there, there are a, a few folders inside the rom folder we've got apis help programs startup so why don't we have a look inside of programs Inside, now inside of programs, if we, if we type in DIR, we can see that there are various different programs in here, right? And uh, these are all the sort of basic programs that you can get your turtle to do. Uh, if, you, if you are programming the, the turtle from scratch, these are the sort of things that you, you would use to, to program your turtle from scratch. But this is not what we're going to be using. So let's go back uh, to the previous direct directory by typing in CD 
dot dot that's going to bring us back into rom now the rom folder is basically uh, in in programming in a programming language your rom directory is the directory that holds things that you cannot edit right so in rom are all these different programs and commands that you are not allowed to edit so for the, for the purposes of our turtle, we aren't going to be working in ROM at all. We are going to be making our own folder inside of the turtle. So to make your own folder inside of a turtle, all you got to do is type in MKDIR, which is short for make directory. And we're going to call our uh, direct directory platform. All right, so now if we look at the directory, at the root directory of our turtle, we'll see that there is a folder called platform uh, now next to the, the, the folder called ROM. So if we go into our uh, plat platform folder, um, let's have a look what's in here. There is absolutely nothing in here. So now this is the, this is the moment where we need to quickly hop back into Windows and copy and paste our our turtle program that we got from uh, that we got from online uh, into that platform folder and once that program has been pasted into this platform folder um, in our feed the beast directory then we will see our new program inside of our turtle so guys why don't we hop into my feed the beast directory in windows and uh, we'll take it from there all right, guys, we've jumped back into Windows and I've just downloaded the program that we're going to be using in our turtle from the Computer Craft forums. If you guys want to download that program also, there is a link in the description box below. Now, what we're going to be doing is putting that program into the folder that turtles use to run their own programs. So what you need to do is find your Feed the Beast folder, uh, your, your Feed the Beast world folder. Mine is called Let's Play FTB. And you can find that in your Minecraft folder under Minecraft saves and then your world folder. And there is a folder in here called computer and what you want to do is open up that folder and inside of this folder you will see a number of directories and these directories will uh, be numbered and every time you place your turtle down in FTB it will make a new folder inside of this computer folder over here and as you can see I've put the turtle down a number of times when I was testing for this episode and uh, the, the the latest folder so the highest number folder is going to be the current folder of the turtle that you're using so if we open uh, folder number five over here we will see the the folder that we created in the turtle with that mkdir command and inside of this folder is the program called platform this is that this is the file that I down that I downloaded from the forums and I renamed it to platform so I've pasted it into uh, the platform directory that we made uh, in the turtle so now when we head back into feed the the beast and we open up the platform directory in the turtle we will see this program there called platform and we will be able to run this program inside of the turtle and uh that is going to be the next step of this process and it is freaking sweet guys i will see you guys back in feed the beast when we get this turtle up and freaking running all right guys we are back in feed the beast after copying and pasting our program into our computer directory of our feed the beast folder and now when we go back into our turtle we should see that platform program inside of our uh, platform directory of our turtle so let's open up our platform directory and let's type in dir and what we should see in there is the program called platform which is what we pasted into that directory so if i or into that folder rather so if we just type platform like so that is going to run the platform program of the turtle and what you can see is what it's telling us that to use the platform we need to tell the the the, the turtle to make a platform and then make a length and make a width um, so that is that is someone has written a program called platform that will make literally a platform of blocks uh, determined by the length and width variable that you put after the word platform. So it, I mean, it really is as simple as that. Now, the other thing to remember is that a turtle needs fuel to work. And what, what turtles use for fuel is things like coal. So what we're going to do is stick some coal into this red slot over here of our turtle. And, the, and the, the turtle is going to use that coal when it starts to build the platform. So what we need to do now is put material into, uh, into the turtle so that it can start building the platform for example if we ask the turtle to build a platform that was 10 by 10 like this what we'll see is the turtle will try and then it's going to say to us not enough blocks aborting we need a hundred blocks to do this we are, we have zero blocks to do this if uh you had no fuel in the turtle so why don't we try that again so let's let's make platform 10 by 10 
the turtle's going to check its fuel and it's going to say, well, I think, it, oh, it's going to check its blocks first, right? So it hasn't got any blocks, so it doesn't even move on to the fuel yet. So guys, why don't we head down to the Metalworks factory and pick up the blocks that we want to use uh, for, the, for this turtle to actually begin its construction. And I think that for the floor of the... Uh, of the the maintenance levels of the of the Rainstar modules, I think I probably want to use aluminum. I think it's a really really sweet block, right? So let's pick up like six stacks of this jazz. Let's just pick up all of the the, the stacks of aluminum that we have so far, and let's get back up to our turtle. Now we have we have fuel for the turtle in the form of coal, and now we have food for the turtle, I guess, in form of uh, aluminum. Uh, aluminium. I mean at aluminum blocks so what the turtle is going to do now is build a platform of aluminum blocks determined by the size that we specify when we run the program inside of the turtle now you guys can imagine that to actually program that uh, this platform program it requires quite a lot of programming knowledge and quite a lot of programming skills. So uh, this is exactly the reason why we are using pre-made programs for this series. Because to be honest with you, I, I don't have that skill. I'm not a programmer and I don't know enough about programming languages to be able to make uh, um, a program like this that, that is so simple. Even though this looks so simple, right? All we need to do is type in platform... Uh, x by x to actually program the turtle to to make it that simple is is a work of art really and uh if you guys want to go check out the code there's a link in the description box below for this platform program and you guys can see how beautifully it, it was actually coded by uh whoever put it together but guys why don't we make the the turtle make a platform um 40 blocks by 40 blocks long by two blocks wide right so the, the, the turtle's going to go all the way to the end of the of the module and then come all the way back again, right? So let's kick the turtle into full time overdrive and there we go. We can see the turtle has gone on its way. Isn't that freaking cute, man? <laughs> that is so, so awesome. So the turtle is going to go is going to build 40 blocks in this direction. And then when he gets to this block over here, which which is 40 blocks from where he started, he's going to turn uh, right and then he's going to turn right again and then he's going to head all the way back uh, to his starting location. And as you can see, he is really awesome. This is, this is the face side of the turtle, right? So when you are setting up your turtle, oh no. Oh no, we've gone. Okay, we made him. We made him build a little bit too far over there. Okay, so we've worked out um, that from where I think he started from. Where did he start from? He started from this position over here, right? Okay, so the inside of our module is actually 38 by 38. So now we know that, um, which is good. So the next time we ask the turtle to build something, we'll, we'll ask him to do it 38 blocks um, in length by X blocks wide, right? But if you guys want to set up your turtles, you got you, you, you got to make sure that they're facing in the right direction, right? Because um, you can see now he, now he's face now he's gone back to his original starting location over here, right? So uh, well done, turtle. He's gone all the way back to where he started. So excellent work, little buddy. All right, Cyberdogs, our next task is to get this turtle into the correct position so that he can continue the construction of this platform. So what we want him to do is go from this location over here to this location over here facing in this direction so that we can give him another platform build order and he can build another few layers of, um, of the floor of this module. So let's right click on the turtle again and we're going to use very, very basic commands over here. So we're going to use the command turn to ask him to turn right. And as you can see, he just did a right turn over there this is his face if you will These, this visor is his eyeballs i guess so this is the direction that he's facing now now we're going to ask him to go forward two blocks so he's gonna he's gonna pace forward two blocks over there and then we're going to ask him to turn left so now he is facing uh, in the correct position so he can continue the construction of this platform let's how much fuel has he got left okay he's got quite a lot of aluminum blocks left so now we can ask him to um if we look at the directory again, let's open the platform folder so we can get to our platform um, program and let's ask him to run platform. And this time around, we're going to ask him to build 38 blocks long by um, five blocks wide. Hopefully we'll have enough uh, aluminum blocks for that. Let's have a look. And there he goes. So now he is going to build 38 blocks in this direction uh, and five blocks in that direction. So he's going to make a platform that is 38 by five. And that's probably going to take up most of the aluminum that he has. And uh, well, whew, 
man, just panicked there. He, d he disappeared for a second, but I think that was just a glitch out over there. And uh, that is basically, guys, the use of a platform generating turtle. All of the, the stuff that you need to make this turtle is in the uh, description box below. A link to the actual program itself, a link to Seth Bling's tutorial where you can learn how to use the really basic commands for turtles like turn and uh, go and all of that sort of jazz. And remember, guys, that turtles need fuel and turtles need food. That's basically what they need, right? They need coal. Um, I think they use, I don't know how much coal they use. That, yeah, it looks like they use, they don't use a lot of coal, right? Um, he's only used two, two bits of coal so far in his journey. Um, so he doesn't use a lot of coal to function. Looks like, yeah, it looks like they use one coal for every 38 blocks. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much coal the turtle uses, but uh, it is doing its job really, really nicely. And as you can see, man, this platform is looking absolutely epic. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. I just, I love the look of this aluminum blocks, of these aluminum blocks over here. And uh, if, if we can get all of the, the, the modules in the Ren Star looking like this, it is going to be absolutely awesome. And you can see how much easier a turtle makes our lives. Um, imagine we had to build these freaking blocks manually using our, using, basically using our jetpack and holding shift to, to not fall over. And uh, what we can basically do, once we have enough resources, uh, I'll go collect those in a moment, we can get multiple turtles running at the same time, right? Because um, a turtle has a limited amount of space in his inventory, right? He can only hold a certain number of uh, blocks. And um, if we wanted to, to build this platform completely out of turtles, we could get a turtle running from this side over here, and then we could jump over to that side of the module and get another turtle running in this direction. We could then head off to the cyber labs to do some work or try and uh, generate some more blocks or do whatever we have to do and just leave our turtles to run. And when we get back, they would have built the platform for us and saved us uh, a ridiculous amount of time in doing so. So, you know, turtles are just absolutely awesome when it comes to the construction of really big projects like this. And I am so freaking happy uh, with the, the, you know, I spent a few hours learning and figuring out how to use them and it was time well spent, man. I mean, this is just feels so awesome that we have this little thing helping us build. And there we can see, guys, he is done. He has built his platform that we asked him to build 38 by 5. And he's going all the way back to his original position over there. And uh, how much fuel does he have left? I don't think we can right click him when he's moving like this. I don't think we're going to have enough aluminum blocks to finish off this platform in today's episode, but um, we'll probably be able to finish off most of it. In fact, we'll, we'll be able to finish enough of it to, to basically start figuring out exactly what's going to be in here, which is really awesome. Let's see how many. Wow. He went through most of those blocks of aluminum, which is pretty crazy, man. That's absolutely crazy. But I think what we can do is we can also save on aluminum by uh, just being smart, right? So if we're going to have a wall over here, uh, if this, if this, is going to be a mod if if in this module there's going to be different rooms in the module and say we have a, a wall running a along this position over here oops my bad um we don't have to build uh, blocks of aluminum underneath the wall. So what we could do is ask the turtle to build blocks of, say, wooden plankage underneath where the walls are going to run, and that's going to save for us in the long run. Um, it's going to be it's going to be like a compound saving of blocks of aluminum, if you know what I'm saying. So if we've got a, a wall running in this direction over here, um, that's going to save us 38 blocks of aluminum uh, running all the way to the to the end of the module over there, and, and that would be the same for this wall over here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, uh, that's definitely what we're going to be doing. We're going to try and preserve our blocks as well as we can, as well as using the turtles to save us a whole bunch of time. But turtle, man, you are so awesome and you are so freaking cute, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Check, I've typed you uh, in his <laughs> in his in his butthole. My bad, dude. <laughs> you are not you. You are awesome. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode, man. It has been a little bit of a technical one, and I hope I've I've shed some light on the use of turtles. And for those of you guys who really want to get your teeth stuck into into using turtles properly i can't i can only recommend uh seth bling's tutorials i can't recommend them highly enough man they'll be able to teach you exactly how to do this jazz but guys i'm going to say goodbye for now i want to do a little bit more experimenting with our turtle buddy see if we can get that entire platform built see if we can save on some resources by doing some clever design work uh right there in the module itself you know we I, I don't know what we're going to do, man, but we're going to need to do something to save our, uh, on the blocks because as we can see, we've already used the majority of our aluminum blocks and we, we're probably like a third way uh, through building the floor of that module. So that's pretty insane. But guys, thank you so much for watching this turtling episode. This has been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Feed the Beast. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit the subscribe button. 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.